Pakistan International Airlines Flight 8303 was a scheduled domestic flight from Alama Iqbal International Airport in Lahore to Jinnah International Airport in Karachi, Pakistan. On 22nd May 2020, the flight piloted by Captain Sajid Gul and First Officer Usman Azam took off from Lahore at 5 minutes past 1 and was near the end of its 90-minute journey when it crashed at around 2.45 into the densely populated neighborhood of Model Colony around 3 kilometers from the airport. While on a second approach after a failed landing, of the 91 passengers and 8 crew on board the aircraft, 97 were killed, while 2 passengers survived with injuries. 8 people on the ground were also injured and one of them later died. The aircraft wings were reported as being on fire in the moments before the plane crashed into the rooftops. The crash damaged building in the area, some of which caught fire. The crash was captured on a video by CCTV camera which shows the aircraft just before crashing into the neighborhood. The pilot had made an initial about a landing attempt. He later radioed air traffic controller, reporting landing gear issues and the failure of both engines. ATC confirmed to the pilot that he was cleared to use either of the airport's two runways, requesting confirm your attempting on Bali. According to PS CEO Arshad Malik, a technical fall prompted the pilot to make a go around rather than land. Even though both runways were available to land, the pilot told the controller, We are returning back, sir. We have lost engines. 12 seconds later, he declared a mayday emergency, which was the final communication from the aircraft. PK8303 took off from Lahore, Pakistan on May 22nd and at about 2.35 began the ILS approach to Karachi Jinnah International Airport's runway 25L. After being cleared by the air traffic control for the now bash 2A arrival, PK8303 was cleared to descend to 10,000, then 5,000 and finally 3,000 feet before reaching the MAKLI waypoint. Instead of having the A320 properly configured and at a specified altitude for the approach, when it reached MAKLI, the A320 was at 9,780 feet and 245 knots indicated airspeed rather than fly a go-around maneuver from the unstabilized approach, the pilots elected to continue the approach. They selected open descent mode on the Airbus flight control unit disconnected the autopilot and extended the speed brakes. According to the AAIB report, after the Karachi approach controller suggested that the pilots take an orbit to help rein the desired descent profile, the pilots continued straight and the effort to intercept the glide slope and localizer was continued. According to flight data recorder information, the pilots extended the A320's landing gear at 7,221 feet, about 10 nautical miles away from runway 25L. The approach controller twice suggested the pilots discontinue the approach and warned them about the excessive altitude. Inexplicably, the pilots retracted the landing gear at 1,740 feet, then the speed brakes and at this point, the A320 was about half a nautical mile away from the runway. Still at high speed, although on glide slope and localizer, the pilot selected flaps 1 at 243 knots. With the landing gear and speed brakes still retracted, the A320's overspeed and enhanced ground proximity warning system. Warnings were triggered, the report stated. Apparently, events were moving too fast for the approach controller to hand the pilots off to the tower, so the controller quickly telephoned Airdrome control to get a landing clearance. The tower controllers cleared PK-8303 to land but didn't say anything about the fact that the A320's landing gear was retracted, or they didn't notice as it continued descending towards the runway. The A320 was clearly flying an unstabilized approach as the FTR recorded at 500 feet that the landing gear was retracted. 
flaps were in configuration 3. ASP was at 220 nodes. The descent rate a high 2000 feet per minute. Several warnings and alerts were captured by the FDR and cockpit voice recorder including overspeed, landing gear not down and ground proximity. The report noted the landing gear was undertaken with landing gear subtracted. The aircraft touched the runway surface on its engines. Flight crew applied reverse engine power and initiated a break-in action. Both engines scrubbed the runway at various locations, causing damage to both of them. For unknown reasons, the pilots elected to try to take off and amazingly managed to get the A320 back into the air. According to the report, although the tower controllers saw the engines scrapping and sparkling on the runway, they didn't relay this information to the pilots. Although, they did telephone Karachi approach to let them know. The FTR recorded that the pilots, after taking off, lowered the landing gear but then immediately retracted it. They asked to fly another approach to runway 25L. Then one engine failed and another and the ram air turbine deployed to provide backup power to essential systems. At some point, the landing gear was again lowered. Slats were in position 1 while flaps were retracted. After declaring an emergency and making a mayday call, the pilots tried to make it to the runway but crashed 1340 meters shot into a populated area. There was no evidence of any problem with the aircraft according to the report which added captain and first officer were adequately qualified and experienced to undertake the said flight. Runway available to land at 25. Roger. Sir, Mayday, 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 Pakistan 8303. Pakistan 8303, Roger. Sir, both runways available to land.